was a good sack. We're going sailing. Dad, get me. We wanted to give you guys a real-time update. And we're gonna do that today while we are out sailing our boat in San, San Diego, Diego Bay. Harbor. <laughs> San Diego Bay, right? San Diego Bay, yeah. yeah. It's almost April of 2023. And last time we left you in Michigan, we had just stowed our own boat away for the winter. And shortly after, we took off to come here. Why, might you ask? <laughs> yeah, we have no insulation and no heat in our house in Michigan. So we've been escaping away to warmer climates during the winter. Mm -hmm. We had a fantastic opportunity from some friends who were not going to be in their house all winter long here in Southern California. <laughs> so yeah, we got lucky this winter. Eventually in the future, we want to be able to take our boat with us. She's just not in the condition to do that yet. So yesterday was my birthday and I really wanted to go sailing, but with our boat thousands of miles away from us, we had to find a boat to get on. So that said, let's take a moment to thank the sponsors of this video, Boat Setter. Boat Setter is like an Airbnb for boats. It has over 50,000 boat listings in over 700 locations around the world. Take my man. There's over 20,000 makes and models available, including different styles and sizes. The smallest boat measuring just eight feet, all the way up to 222 feet. There's sailboats, motorboats, ski boats, pontoon boats, any kind of boat, you name it. <laughs> yeah. Some boats can even be rented the same day. Are you excited to go sailing today? And eat granola bars. And eat granola bars. <laughs> you wanna see a funny thing, Dad? Yeah, let's see a funny thing. <laughs> Renters can find boats available on boatsetter.com or you can download the Boatsetter app. If you're jonesing to get on a boat like we were, give Boat Setter a look. We've even got a discount code for you in the description below. Some swell. Right? <laughs> yeah, what happened down there? <laughs> oh gosh. We made uh, probably not quite the right decision to sail out towards the ocean instead of in towards the bay because we were just so darn excited to go sailing. Be out of the big yacht. 
It got a little rough. And uh, Renata didn't want to be up in the cockpit anymore. She wanted to go below. And I thought, okay. Down we went. I started feeling queasy. She said five minutes later, mama, my stomach hurts. After she had eaten a sandwich and a granola bar. And then five minutes after that, it was all over her lap. So, um, thankfully, she's down taking a nap right now. Hopefully sleeping it off. I'm sure she'll be starving when she wakes up. Um, but yeah, so now we're headed back into the bay. It's much calmer. And um, yeah, things should be only looking up. Long story short, Renata gets seasick. <laughs> which is a bummer. Yeah. A bummer, a bummer. <laughs> Two kiters. They're on foils. somewhat awesome it would have been even more awesome I think if we had a captain yes it totally would have is this this I was single-handing this boat that really isn't set up for single-handing yeah while Lauren was helping Renata and that's actually one of the cool things about boat setter you can get a boat with or without a captain it doesn't matter what experience you have with boats you can have none and you can get out on a boat yeah I totally agree I think it would have been really nice to have a captain <laughs> we just were like, you know, oh, we've sailed a boat before. We don't, you know, we don't need a captain. That was kind of like default thought. Yeah. I think it would have been cool just to like totally immerse ourselves in filming or just yeah. like just staring out. out at the water. <laughs> and after that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. Zoning just out. Just zoning out would be so cool. <laughs> so for all you boat owners out there. Yeah. Or aspiring captains charter captains uh, boat setter is a great way to start a business or if you have a boat and you're not using it all the time you can make a little extra money and rent your boat out on boat setter you will have instant access to thousands of people looking to rent a boat go to boatsetter.com or check out the link in the description below back to our show <laughs> just had a little picnic, listen to some music, but I was looking around and I think we were probably the only ones that sailed here. <laughs> and I was just thinking- At least, at least right now, yeah. there's no other boats at the dock. Sailing can turn anything into an adventure. Mm -hmm. We just stuck our nose out into the Pacific and there was some pretty big swell. Well, big enough to lose lunch. I did like a, an awful tack lost the jib sheet and got stuck in irons and went sailing backwards with like a six foot, eight foot swell rolling <laughs> while Renata's downstairs puking. And then we show up here and, and listen to some big band music. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, sailing's kind of fun that way that it can turn anything into an adventure. And Well, and it can make pedestrian things like picnics and 
you know, local live music seem really sweet. Yeah, uh, I was still trying to control this boat that is really not set up for single handing. Yeah. I was like, oh man, why do we do this? I hate sailing. This is so dumb. <laughs> and then we get here and like, it was really, really nice. I think sailing for me is just so visceral. It, it is so in the moment for me where I just like, I absolutely hate it when things are going bad, but I absolutely love it when things are going right. Yeah. And that's the only place my mind is in that, in that moment is right there. <laughs> You're going to come snuggle? Yeah, go say hi. So we wanted to tell you a little bit about what we've got going on over the next six months or a year. We have like a handful of things that we have to focus on. One, of course, is the boat. Got a lot of work to do. Another one is our property, but the most exciting one that we, we have. We are planning to build a pole barn. We're building a big barn. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we're planning a barn build to store the boat in in the off season. Right in here is where we want to put our boat shed. But to also give us a space for us to work on the boat. We've got some big projects we want to work on. So it'll yeah. be large enough to unfold with plenty of workspace. It feels really good because our boat right now is probably one of our like nearest and dearest assets. <laughs> yeah. And so to be able to build a home for our boat is great, which is funny because we don't really have a proper home for ourselves, but <laughs> proper home for ourselves. we're about to build a home for our boat. <laughs> In addition to the, the boat shed, which we, we'd like to document on the channel here. If you are interested, give us a thumbs up or let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing we're, we're planning on working on is uh, doing a bunch of planting. So we talked about wanting to build a, or plant a permaculture food forest. We've got six or eight trees so far that we planted last summer and we're picking up a bunch more this summer. We've got a whole bunch of berry bushes that are gonna be going in the ground but a long-term goal of trying to source as much food as we can from our own property. Apple trees, yeah. We focused a lot on self-sufficiency in our channel and like learning new things and if you like people it, enjoy it, we'll let us know, we'll keep doing it. What's the next thing we're working on this year? What we've got our, coming up? Our property. We have some really basic stuff that we need to do to the mobile home that we're staying in in the summer. We're actually worried that we might fall through the floor in the bathroom. <laughs> So um, you can see where our priorities lay, <laughs> growing a food forest, building a house building. for our boat. <laughs> we really, we've got a couple of things that we need to do to our property itself to make sure that we can still live there part time. And let's talk about sailing. And yes, sailing, of course. Um, the boat obviously needs a ton of work, which we have talked about. In and we will be filming episode. a bunch of boat projects. Yes. But we are super excited to document more sailing in the Great Lakes. We like just scratched the surface when we bought our Tartan 37 in Racine and sailed up the west coast of Michigan. But there are so many amazing, beautiful cruising grounds in all of the Great Lakes. We've got a ton of trip ideas. But there are several things that we have to do on the boat yes. before we can really do any sailing. And that was what the rush to get the boat into the water at the end of last year was all about was one, we, we really wanted to just, we wanted to sail. We, yeah. we couldn't sit for a year with a new boat and not sail it. But <laughs> we also really wanted to do kind of like a mini shakedown and figure out like what was all of the stuff that is absolutely critically important to getting going on the boat yeah there's a whole host of like little jobs that it's really cool that we're not going to be living on this boat so it doesn't have to be perfect there are things that like have to be done right away and then things that we can kind of do when we get to them yeah depends because on what we else want to sail depends on what else is going on in our life yeah. what ideas do you have what ideas do we have what ideas do you have camera I wanted to ask you if you had a fun day today. I did. You did? Why was your day fun? Because I liked it. You liked it. Did you like sailing? No. No? Mm. You had a really nice nap, didn't you? And my mom too. Your mama had a nap too, yeah. And I snuggled up behind you. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, <laughs> you didn't? Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you did. No. Oh. I snuggled up 
ของเล่นChicken with Shore. Uh huh. I think there's always one loser when you play Chicken with Shore, and that's you. <laughs> one, two, three, tacking. <laughs> uh oh, override. Too far, too far. Perfect, right there. That was a good tack. Four, seven, nine, ten, eleven, tacking. <laughs> Normally we just say one, two, three tacking, but I like yours better. <laughs> one, two, three tacking! Yeah. There you go. I'm blinded by the light. Yeah, I can't see hardly at all, can we? <laughs> it's very bright. This is my favorite time to sail here, though. Yeah. The wind has died just a tiny bit. The sun is illuminating the buildings. And there's not so many boats to dodge. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. We're sailing, we're sailing, we're sailing. We're sailing, we're sailing, we're sailing. <laughs> should we, should we see, sing some she shanty, shanties? tour <laughs> we would love to know your opinion on these grandiose plans like are we crazy out of our minds 